one wonderful story, which really is not particularly relevant to Test Match Special, but it was a lovely story because Jack Finkelton was a, was a devout Roman, Holy Roman, as were many of the Australian side. And McCormack, O'Brien, Fingleton, O'Reilly, there, there were about five or six of them in the 30s. And in 30, the, after the body line tour in 36, 7, Gabby Allen's side went out there, won a couple of tests, the first two, and then lost the last three. Or rather clumsily. And um, Jack Fingleton hadn't made a run opening the batting in the first two test matches. And he was picked for the third. And he went down to Melbourne a, a little bit ahead of the rest of the Australian side. And he took his bat off to um, the Archbishop of Melbourne, had it sprinkled with holy water. And the England, Australia won the toss and batted first. And um, Fingleton went in, I think, with Leo O'Brien and got out fairly quickly. And Bradman, always was always went in three, usually went down the long steps to the, um, the MCG and passed the incoming batsman on the steps. But this time, he waited in the dressing room until Fingleton got in. And then as he did, he picked up his own bat and said, well, boys, he said in that squeaky voice, he said, I'll go and see what I can do with a dry one. And he... <laughs> And he, he, made, he made 256. 